This question asks us to draw the Lewis structure for the given ion, and also to calculate the formal charge of each atom to ensure that our structure is correct. I've got some notes already drawn up here on the board. I've got the number of valence electrons that hydrogen and oxygen each have in their ground state neutral configuration. And for future reference, I've also got the formula for calculating formal charge. Our uh, Lewis, the, the structure that we're trying to draw the Lewis structure for is the hydroxide ion, HO minus. A hydrogen uh, has one electron, valence electron, and the oxygen has six valence electrons. The other thing we need to consider is the negative charge. The negative charge adds one more electron to our structure. That gives us a total of eight electrons that we need to add to this structure. To do so, we will start with the central atom. Hydrogen can never be a central atom. It only makes one bond. So we'll start with the oxygen. We'll draw a bond to the hydrogen. This bond represents two electrons. I've used two of the eight total electrons so far. I need six more. I'll start by adding lone pairs to the most electronegative element. That would be oxygen. So I'll add lone pairs to oxygen until I either get to the octet rule or use up all of my available electrons. Adding six electrons around oxygen brings oxygen to a, octet, a full octet of eight and coincidentally also uses the remaining six electrons that I have available to me in the Lewis structure. I've now used all of my electrons in that I have available to me, so let's check to see if this is the correct structure. We'll do that by calculating the formal charge. Formal charge of an element is the number of valence electrons that element should have in its neutral ground state, minus half of the bonding electrons and all of the non-bonding electrons. The non-bonding electrons are the valence shell electrons. I like to use a mnemonic when calculating formal charge. That the formal charge equals wants minus owns, where wants is the number of valence electrons it wants in a neutral ground state, and owns is the number of electrons it actually has, half the bonding and all of the non-bonding. For hydrogen, then, hydrogen wants one electron in its valence shell, and in our structure here, it owns half of the bonding electrons and all of the non-bonding electrons. There are no lone pairs, but there are two electrons shared in the bond, so it owns half of those. So it owns half of those two bonding electrons. The formal charge on hydrogen then is zero. Formal charge on oxygen. Oxygen wants six electrons in its neutral ground state valence shell, and it owns half of the bonding and all of the non-bonding. With one bond, it owns half of those two bonding electrons minus all of the non-bonding electrons, and there are six non-bonding electrons. 6 minus 6 minus 1 gives oxygen a formal charge of negative 1. This gives the net overall molecule a net charge of negative 1, matching the structure we're trying to form. This is, in fact, the correct Lewis structure for the hydroxide ion.